National Coordinator of Southwest Agenda for Siwaju Senator Dayo Adeyeye has stated that the 2023 general elections since the return to democracy in 1999 can be described as the best Nigerian has ever witnessed. Now following mixed reactions from the result declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, the Senator cautioned those calling for an interim government. During a media briefing with journalists in Abuja, Adeyeye stated that such move is geared towards possible anarchy, hence an appeal to Nigerians to disregard the plots for disunity in the country as he refers to some prophecies by fake pastors. I want to state categorically that this election has been the best in the history of Nigeria, at least since the return to democracy in 1999. This is the best election that Nigeria has ever witnessed. This last this election that was not concluded. And I stand to be challenged by anybody. I have been waiting for the past three weeks to see, or for the past four, four weeks, to see either the PDP or LP come out to say, this is our result. This is the result that was declared for us. They have never said that. And that is the proof of rigging. That's when you will tell me you are rigged out. Oh, from our platform, from the from the result that our agents that we collected from our agents, we scored so 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 number of votes. But this is the number of votes given to us by INEC. We have not seen it. Instead, they have been spreading hatred, trying to create anarchy, trying to cast as passion on the integrity of the election officials, trying to try to to to. To, to create the impression, not only within this country, but international community, that the election was anything but free, fair, and transparent. I want to appeal to all Nigerians to disregard the noise making of these people who are trying to create anarchy. And I want to once thing to say that Nigerians should at least for once begin to reason and not depend on the prophecy of fake prophets. I saw a video, and I think this is what is profiling the obedience. I'm, re I'm ready to say it out. I saw a video in which a one fake, useless pastor was saying that, yes, the noble will be declared, but he will not be sworn in. And then uh, an interim government will be formed, and the interim government will give it to be, and I will be a citizen of this country, and I will allow that. It's not going to happen. You want to ruin this country, you want to divide the country, you want to destroy the unity of the country? You want to say bye-bye to Nigeria? While commending the Independent National Electoral Commission, Senator Adeyeye blamed selective violence on politicians, saying all electoral offenders should be persecuted by law. He also added that Nigerians have adopted from foreign country a habit of denying election results. It was not caused by INEP per se. They have their own little, little problems. It was the problem of the politicians them ourselves. I am looking for that day when we will have a conference of politicians in which we will all agree that we will abide by the results of elections and we will not do anything. We will not do anything to manipulate the system. If there is any blame in this last election, it's politicians who prevented others from voting. Politicians who say, oh, this one is not going to, not going to vote for my party. Block him, he's not going to vote. It was politicians who went to polling units and destroyed the ballot boxes. Not INEC. Politicians, they destroyed the ballot boxes, caused violence in many places. How do you blame INEC for that? And somebody who, who, somebody who we used to have respect for, one of these civil rights people, Mahmoud should be sacked. So Mahmoud is the one that asked people to go and snatch boxes. It's not politicians who did it. I'm happy that it's an electoral, that it's now a law for electoral offenses, all those who are caught don't need the election to have committed one offense or, or, or the other. They do be prosecuted and given severe punishment. Nigerians have copied another bad thing from America to deny, to join the gang of election deniers. <laughs> Like American debate, they don't come and stop National Assembly mm -hmm. or destroy our institutions in Abuja, we are not going to allow it. Adeyeye therefore calls for national unity in all states to move the nation forward.